Look at that. That is, that is something else. Pretty darn fast. All right, guys, hey, I'm gonna take the Drone Pro 2 out. It's getting evening time, starting to get dark, but it's been so super hot out here, and the smoke's been bad during the daytime. And this evening, it's starting to, starting to get a little better here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing up, turn the controller on, turn the drone on. All right, we're gonna bind it by going up, down. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the app. So as soon as the app comes up here, I'll connect to it. There it is, KYAFPV, uh, Wi-Fi FPV, UFO. So I'm gonna do a screen recording right now. All right, I'm gonna start the screen recorder. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the app. It is KYFPV. So let's see if I can get in here. All right, I hope this thing flips back around. I guess it's not, so I'm gonna have to turn my phone around. I'm using the iPhone uh, 7 uh, Plus, so it does fit in this little holder here. I'm gonna go ahead and press start. So I do have Wi-Fi. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate this thing. So I'm gonna go um, out to the bottom, outsides. So there goes uh, the gyros, so you can see it again. I'll show you real quick here. See it flash, it's ready to go. Uh, the speed rate is right here. There's two. I'm gonna go with three. So we're gonna do one key takeoff. There we go. Pretty steady, it's not bad. Let me bring it back a little bit here with the trim. I'm using the trim here. Let me bring it back a bit. It's not going to trim 100%, but I could get it close since there's no wind right now. I'll bring it back to me here. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the recording as well, guys, right here on the phone. But see, that's pretty steady right there. Let me bring it back a little. For that just being uh, altitude hold, that's actually holding up pretty good, you guys. Nice bright lights there. Let's go ahead and take this for a flight. I'll go up so you can see it up here. Well, that yaw is pretty darn fast. You can see the yaw, and, and the third rate is super fast, you guys. Let me go down. Let me change the speed rate. Here's one. Let me bring it back over here. Here's one, which is pretty darn fast. Here's two. All right. And then here's three. Look at that. That is crazy, crazy fast. All right, let me take this for a flight. I don't want to go too far because I don't know what the range, how well the range is going to be on this guy. Boy, that's super fast. Especially when you're yawing. I got to yaw real slow here. Slow as I can, because see how quick that is? That thing's pretty cool. It definitely looks like a little uh, mini of the DJI Mavic Mini. But man, that yaw is super fast. I've never seen one that fast for this size of a drone. Um, let me go ahead and try the 3D rolls here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, press this one up here. There should be, oh, that one ain't going. Let's try it again here. Looks like just left, right. So you're pressing this once, left, and then right, you can do one. Uh, if you hold it too long on this button, that's emergency stop. So you don't want to do that. I'm going to turn that, uh, let's turn that down a little bit. Those lights are nice and bright for at night. All right, turn that to second rate because that is just, that is just crazy. That yaw is super fast. Look at, even on second rate, it's fast. So if there's no wind and you want to film, which uh, looks like it's holding up pretty good on the Wi-Fi, it's, it's not super bad. They did put the antenna out here on the front, um, which I show you on the unboxing. So stick around at the end of the, the video and I'll show you what comes inside the box here. But let me go to rate one. So rate one, see that way I can get a little bit smoother filming if I kind of want to film around here. And I'm not even yawning it all the way, but at least it keeps it a little more smooth. So, 
But yeah, it's not a bad drone. It's actually pretty fun. Let's go to second rate. All right, I'm going to go to third. And it, it moves pretty good. I just can't believe how fast that yaw is. That is something else, I tell you guys. I'm going to have to kind of keep this up so you guys can see it being so dark out. It's just nice to not have a bunch of smoke out here like there usually is. So this evening, it finally calmed down. Um, I'm going to bring it down a little bit and see if we got any other functions in here that I can look at. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot. It looks more like hand gesture stuff, and it's kind of too dark to do that right now. So I'm going to kind of stay away from the hand gesture stuff. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it on that. I'll try some other functions some other time. But uh, trying to keep this thing from yawn so fast is just unbelievable. That is crazy. It could definitely get you disoriented real quick if you hold that too long. I'll show you guys up close again here. Look at that. That is, that is something else. Pretty darn fast. Let's bring this up a little bit. I'll get a little picture out here. It says it took a picture. I don't want to go too far because I don't know if this thing will fly away. Because it's only... Uh, it's only 2.4 uh, gigahertz, so we face out here. See if I can get over by the city a little bit here. Take another snapshot. I'm gonna start the video. All right. Yeah, not bad, you guys. Not bad for a little toy clone here. I like to try it. Uh, I'll have to try it in the daytime, but. Uh, so far so good it's just that uh, super sensitive in third rate with that yaw so yeah it's hard to get smooth film when you're uh let's see if i can get that nice sunset right there that looks pretty nice out there let me turn a little bit here i don't want to go too far there we go got the moon in the background Stop the film, take a picture, the moon, take another picture. All right, let me bring it back down because I'm kind of getting a little too far here. Because if you lose range, guys, this, they'll just take off. And that's with any drone, especially when it don't have GPS. But yeah, looks pretty good, you guys. So there we go. That's basically going to be it. I just wanted to do a quick flight here. Hopefully this video turns out pretty decent. If not, I will be uh, filming it again in the daytime or maybe early morning. But uh, usually by then, there's a lot of smoke out here. So that's, that's the bad part. So that's the reason why I'm out here. I just got out here a little later than I wanted to. Because it'll be hard to see the drone. You can at least see the lights. So start that film again but yeah it's not too bad it's a good little flyer i'll leave a link down in the description guys where you can find this uh this is a this is a store that i haven't worked with before so i'll leave all that in the descriptions on the purchase link you guys so you can check it out so all right guys i'm not gonna sit here and keep boring you with uh with this thing flying in circles, pretty much got an idea how this thing works. Bring this back, gonna land this guy in my hand. There we go, just hold all the way down and, uh, or just land on the ground and do it that way. It does have that little optical flow camera, so you do have to cover that up when it lands in your hand, so that way it knows to shut off, but. All right, guys, let me shut this thing off. Let me, I got the film stopped, so this ain't flashing in there. All right, it's the little drone pro 2 little mavic mini looking guy uh it's actually not a bad flyer you guys so uh like i said i'll leave a link down in the descriptions check it out all right guys hey thanks so much for sticking around to the end to do a quick unboxing of this 
Uh, this little drone comes with a neat little uh, soft uh, cover case, which you know works out pretty good. It's got a little handle on there. So after unzipping it, you'll take a look inside. Of course, you got the controller, the little drone, and then you got your accessories here, and you got your little uh, QR code startup guide, uh, which you'll just scan for iOS or Android. Uh, the app is KYFPV. Um, it'll be KY uh, Wi-Fi FPV. So uh, just scan that, or you can look it up in your uh, app store. So you do have a little manual here, which is paper manual. Uh, it's in English and in Chinese on uh, you know, either side. This is the English side. It tells you up, uh, what all the buttons are for, uh, what their functions are for. So. Uh, you know basically everything you need to know to start up this drone so let me get this out of the way then you have you your prop guards which you got four of those back here so you got four prop guards right here and then you got those just clip on I'll show you that in a minute uh, you got your little Phillips screwdriver and you only get uh, two sets of props which as there's a total of four, but these are the foldable props, so you get a set of A and a set of B props. So there's that. You do have a little uh, JST uh, little connector charger here, so uh, that will just plug into the battery. This will flash and let you know that it's charging, and then stay lit up, I believe, uh, when it's done charging. Uh, so you can just plug that into your computer, or you can get a wall adapter and plug it into the wall. So there's that. Let's take a look at the drone, which is really cool. This one here, they call this one the Drone Pro 2. Pretty neat. They did a good job on cloning the little uh, uh, Mavic uh, Mini, the DJI Mavic Mini. Of course, it's a lot smaller. This one's actually super light, uh, so I wouldn't, uh, I don't recommend flying it in any wind. Uh, this thing flew really good tonight. You know, I apologize. I had to do an evening flight, like I was saying out in the video when I was flying, but. Uh, this is the only time I had a little bit of clear air from all that smoke from the California fires here. So uh, hopefully all that came out nice and uh, you guys were able to see at least the flight on that. It does have an adjustable camera here. So and I like that they put the antenna on the outside for the Wi-Fi. So it is only uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi FPV. But uh, yeah, it's really got a neat look uh, to it. It only comes with one battery on this one. And the battery on this one is uh, 3.7 volt, and this one's uh, 1,000 milliamps. You can barely see it, but it's 1,000 milliamps inside right there. So there's that JST connector, which I was going to show you. This just slides on here. Just got to find which way it goes, and then slides on there, and then you can go plug it in. So pretty neat. Not too bad. It's got a cool look to it at least. That just snaps in there. That's where you go and open it. You just press down. On here and the battery will slide back out you do have an optical flow camera in there so uh, which works out pretty good seemed to be doing just well when I was outside and especially at night it was still uh, keeping its holding its ground and stuff the altitude hold works uh, pretty decent for a toy grade drone um, this case looks like you can if you get extra batteries you can pop these out and slide the extra batteries in here but there's the drone Here's the controller, it's pretty basic. You'll see this controller with a lot of drones. Uh, everything's labeled on here. So you got one key takeoff, one key land. You got your trim button left, right. Um, then your forward and back. You got your on and off button here. Um, on here you got your speed rate, which has got three rates of speed. Then you got your um, 360 flip when you do a short press. Then you just uh, push what direction you want it to flip. And then if you hold it for about three to five seconds, that will cut the motors out. So if you have to use that and you're up in the air, you cut those motors out, it will fall to the ground, guys. So, But that's what those buttons are for. Uh, right here you got uh, return to home, which I'm not going to, I never did use, but basically the same GPS, you'd have to have the back end of the drone facing you. And if you press that, it'll tilt the drone back and come towards you. So whichever way this back end of this drone's facing, you press that button, that drone's going to go that way until you press the button to stop it or one of the, the toggle switches, and then it'll stop that mode, okay? 
Um, I did take the screw out for the batteries. They do provide uh, AA batteries for you in the pack. They're not very, uh, not very good batteries. They're really soft, so be careful. I mean, they bend really easy. So I never had these batteries before, but it does have a little deal to indicate uh, how well the batteries are. The little thing goes all the way up to the green, so it's pretty cool. Glad they provide batteries, which is nice. They give you four of them actually, so you get an extra battery off the side. All right, so there's the controller. That's basically it on that. And then a phone holder will definitely hold a pretty good sized phone. I had my iPhone uh, 7 Plus in there and it held it just fine, you guys. So, all right, and that's the buttons there. For that, I'll do a little quick uh, start up here. Let me show you how these uh, prop guards go on first for anybody that's new and has never had a drone or had prop guards. These just snap right on here. It snaps over this piece here. So, let's see if I can get it. Got the camera in front of me, so it's hard to see here. Okay, so these just snap on here, like so, on the bottom. So, you just put all four of them on, and to get them off, there's a little tab right here. You just press on that, and it should slide right off, you guys. So, pretty easy. All right, so I'm gonna start this thing up. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way here. All right. So to start this one up, pretty simple. You're gonna just turn on the controller. These are fake antennas, so don't worry about them being up. Turn on the drone by holding it down for a few seconds. It's flashing, ready to be bound. And you're just gonna go up, down. Now everything stopped flashing. It is bound with the controller the drone is. Then you can go inside your app and, and connect to your uh, KYFPV app. So uh, I'll show you that. I showed you that out there when we're uh, going for the flight. Um, with this one here, to calibrate the gyros, you're gonna go, you're gonna go uh, pull these down to the bottom outside. See how it's flashing? I'm on a level surface, so it's letting the uh, drone know that it's level. I'm calibrating the gyros on this, so. And that's basically it. And then you just press one key takeoff and, and lift it up. It'll be ready to go. So definitely don't forget to uh, shut off the film. Uh, one, one press is a picture. One long press will start the film. Okay, see how it's flashing? Okay, so you want to hold that down and stop the film before the battery goes dead or you land it and shut it off. Or you will uh, lose your video, even though this don't have an SD card. Uh, that's the only downfall on this one. There's no SD card in here, so you can't put your own uh, memory card. It's going to film straight to the app, you guys. So we'll have to check that out on the app and see what the video and pictures look like. So hopefully everything turned out for you guys. Um, you know, I usually don't do a evening, late evening flight like that, but that's sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But basically it. I'll leave a link down in the descriptions, guys. Uh, it's the first time I'm working with this company, so you can check out their store. They have a lot of other drones there, some GPS drones. Um, and just click the link, check it out. You know, if it's something that you like, and then you can purchase it right there. I'll leave a coupon code um, in the descriptions, so that way you can save a few bucks as well, okay? All right, guys, thank you for watching, and I sure appreciate uh, all the support, guys. If you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe, hit the notification so you can see what's coming up next on the channel. So, all right, God bless, guys. Be safe out there.